In this video, I'll explain Hexter Eulin theory of international trade and factor price equalization theorem, which is a corollary of Hexter Eulin theory of international trade. This theory is given by Ellie Hexter and Bottle Eulin. And that is the reason it is also known as Hexter Eulin theory. The other names for it are HO theorem, modern theory of international trade, and factor endowments theory. According to this theory, comparative advantage arises because of differences in factor endowments. What are these factor endowments? It is the extent to which Countries are endowed with resources or factors. According to this theory, a labor rich country produces more of labor intensive goods and exports the same and vice versa. That is a capital rich country will produce more of capital intensive goods and vice versa. Now, how do we say that a country is labor rich or capital rich? We can say this by looking at the K by L ratio. What is K by L ratio? K by L ratio is nothing but it is capital upon labor ratio in the production process. So, K is for capital and L is for labor. If K by L ratio in country A is greater than k by l ratio in country b then we can say that country a is capital rich country than country b and vice versa or you can say that l by k in country b is greater than l by k in country a then country b is labor rich country now, if this is true, then country A will produce more capital intensive goods and export capital intensive goods. Country B will produce more labor intensive goods and export labor intensive goods. In this example, X is taken as capital intensive good and Y is taken as labor intensive good. Now, the assumptions of the theory. The classical economist had assumed only one resource that is labor. Hexter and Eulin, they have assumed two resources, labor and capital. It is a simple two commodities, two countries and two resource models. So it is two by two by two model. In the example, we have two countries A and B. Two resource, labor and capital and two goods x and y we assume that technology is same in both the countries commodity x is capital intensive commodity and commodity y is labor intensive commodity then how how can we say that one good is capital intensive other is labor intensive we can say a good is capital intensive if it uses more of capital in relation to labor so it uses less labor in comparison to capital and vice versa another assumption is constant returns to scale in both x and y in both the countries uh, we had seen in the earlier videos also on absolute advantage and comparative advantage theory that constant returns to scale is very rare phenomenon. Most of the time companies will be having either increasing returns to scale or diminishing returns to scale. Then the last is incomplete specialization in production of both the commodities in both the countries. Classical economists had assumed complete specialization that is Ghana was producing only cocoa while South Korea was producing only rice. 
but these two people that is excel and oilin they have assumed incomplete specialization actually incomplete specialization is more realistic than complete specialization you know most of the countries of the world they produce multiple commodities and not just single one commodity one of the corollary to the hexer oilin theory is factor price equalization theorem according to this theory if a country is capital rich it will produce more of capital intensive goods and export the same now the usage of capital will increase because it is producing more and more capital intensive goods so the demand for capital increases when the demand for any commodity or any resource rises what will happen its price will also rise and therefore initially the country had lower price of capital it was capital rich and it started producing more and more of capital intensive goods so the demand for capital is increasing and the price of capital will start rising it was labor scarce country so labor was already highly priced since it had shortage of labor the price of labor was very high what is the price of labor price of labor is nothing but wages and salaries and the price of capital is interest so slowly the interest will start rising and over a period of time the prices of both labor and capital will become equal in both the countries of the world so thank you for watching this is the hexer oilin theory and factor price equalization theorem any suggestions comments please put it in the chat box